Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back with your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we're going to be talking about Zenfin Network, aka XDC. So let's just dive in and let's start off with this tweet here uh, from Utility Theory. So we do see XDC Network is a major piece of foundational DLT infrastructure helping banks and SMEs digitize global trade processes. If you are interested in digital trade, give Andre Kasterman a follow, as he is a very smart fellow who creates great educational information for citizens and entities interested in trade digitization. And then we do see over here from Trade Finance Global, is DLT the new foundation for interoperable transactions in banking? Trade tech expert Andre Kasterman discussed future use cases for blockchain in assets, trade, and transaction banking. And uh, yeah, he, we also do see utility theory um, showing his breakdown going all the way back to 2021. But I do want to open this up and I do want to see um, what you guys have in terms of your opinions on a few things happening around this space. So we do see DLT offers the financial services industry a new piece of infrastructure to push the boundaries of open banking, but it doesn't come without its challenges. TFG heard from trade tech expert Andre Kesterman on future use cases for blockchain in assets trade and transaction banking. And uh, we do see. So mainly we're going to be focusing on the highlighted terms here because obviously most of the information in here is going to sound very repetitive. Um, you've probably heard it before. So we're going to be focusing on the main topics. DLT enables financial institutions to share a common understanding of assets and transactions with their clients and counterparties. Embedding interoperability in any transactional process will comply with data privacy regulations. Lesson learned number one, DLT is a 21st century innovation that needs to be embraced with a 21st century open banking mindset. That's where most trade focused consortia have failed so far, not only the bankrupt ones. And uh, we do see DLT extends open banking to risk mitigation. We do see a few of the features here in terms of one, two, three, and four with on-chain data exchange, tracking of assets and transactions, instant payments using on-chain value, and on-chain investment products being all four of those. And you can see the main use case here for them. Um, but overall, when we do focus on a lot of things happening around DLT um, technology, we really kind of focus on some of the bigger use cases but i think that trade finance is one that we should definitely be looking at um and there's two main ones that we look at here so this is the trada investor token through tfdi and also the trace original with dni which i just recently talked about uh trace original with you guys uh just recently but yeah there's a lot of things happening here um and we do see lesson learned number Five. Bank consortia are not dead. Um, they have been relevant mainly in payments and security so far. Trade banks just need to embrace proven, i.e. delivered and adopted technology um, innovations when building consortia, uh, thereby eliminating the delivery and market adoption risk. And yeah, 100% like, listen, when we look at a lot of what's happening around this space, um, a lot of the arguments do come from regulations, uh, proper regulations, improper regulations. So when we look at trade finance, it's going to be one of those industries that we know is ripe for disruption. But ultimately speaking, it's going to take some time for it to be fully disrupted due to a lot of obstacles that need to be broken. But in due time, we will get past them and we will talk about how long in this video. So Let's start off with this video or uh, with this post here from Andre Kasserman. So this is mainly what we just read. Um, this is him quoting it. This is him talking about it. Um, but ultimately speaking, what I do want to push with this and what I do want to lead into is some of the banks and specifically a bank that I found that is doing some big things around blockchain. That bank is northern trust so we do see beyond asset tokenization we partnered with hsbc to reflect on some key drivers considerations and opportunities which may arise on the journey through the next evolution of asset servicing 
included are some key trends that we believe are meaningful to institutional and wealth investment opportunities or communities. Um, so here are the key among those are DLT technologies have the power to transform value chains and processes as we know them, providing transparency and immutability at the core, enabling new generations of products and asset classes. Firms cannot any longer expect to keep performing the same roles without evolving to new client needs, new entrants, and also disruptors will innovate and compete. The ESG data and product landscape is complex and will present challenges as well as opportunities for many in the coming years. The emergence and tuning of regulatory frameworks across the globe will have a strong influence over the maturity of the digital landscape as we know it, which is one that I've focused on quite a bit. Partnerships and collaborations are powerful. Network effects and scale can only truly be achieved in interconnected ecosystems that transcend traditional barriers and silos. Now, I completely agree with all of this. In fact, I think that this is great to see. And I also love to see these big banks talking about this technology and talking about how we have to get to the point where we do embrace them. A good thing to look at as well is the numbers be behind some of these big banks like Northern Trust. So um, a lot of people are a lot of people out there are probably all aware of what Northern Trust is and what they are doing. Um, when you go to their about section, we do see transforming ideas into action. And when we scroll down, we could see this. So first off, 130 plus years in business, $1.3 trillion assets under management. Best private bank voted in November 3rd, 2022 and world's most admired company, February 1st, 2023. So this is a giant of a bank. It's one that has been tried, tested, and true. And uh, the reason why I bring these statistics up is because like these are not small fish. Like these are big fish, and uh, they're sitting here telling you what's happening. They're talking to you on a level wh where most people are just kind of ignoring. And that level is guess what? We're going to see this massive transformative shift happen around digitization and DLT technology, especially within the banking and financial scene. And a lot of people are just not aware of this. Like, I really want you all to understand that those that are watching this, those that are aware of the steps being taken to get to that next realm of opportunity, you're all going to not only embrace incredible amounts of wealth and opportunity, but you're also going to become one of the visionaries the early visionaries to truly see everything before most do like i would argue that and i always say 99 percent because i do think that's about 99 percent of the general public is blind to what's happening even most people that did buy into crypto that were buying dogecoin are blind to see what's actually happening around this technology so to me personally like when we look at xdc and when we look at zinfin things are changing and trade finance has always been one of the biggest focus points on this channel when we do talk about XDC. And one thing that we've been addressing is regulations, right? MLATR, harmonized approach to proper regulations around trade finance. How many countries you think will adopt model law on electronic transferable records? MLATR in 2023. This is from Crypto Nair D, obviously. And here we have jurisdictions consistent with MLATR. Bahrain or Bahrain, sorry, uh, Singapore, Abu Dhabi, United Kingdom, um, and yeah, like these are big areas, and um, they have been focused on trade finance for a while. Um, interesting enough, like interestingly enough, sorry, um, Abu Dhabi already has a partnership with Zinfin um, through their trade organization. Um, we know that ICC is working closely with them as well. There's a lot of things happening. Um, but these are four major jurisdictions that are very focused on, on uh, MLATR. And I really do think that going forward on, we're only going to see a lot more um, adoption through this. And I think that MLATR is going to be that harmonized approach where we do see digitization within trade finance fully be realized in and it's going to change everything it truly is going to change everything um and we do see over here as well xdc icc uae 
is pleased to announce Impel, built on the XDC network, as silver sponsor at the Global Trade Facilitation Summit on the 15th and the 16th of March this month um, in Dubai, organized by ICC UAE, hosted by Dubai Chambers. In partnership with African Development Bank Group ADB Trade and Supply Chain Finance Program, uh, EBRD, IFC, International Finance Corporation, and International Islamic Trade Finance Corporation, ITFC. So uh, this is very interesting. Um, I love to see ICC next to Zinfin as well as Impul. Um, Very good, very good. Um, by the way, if you guys are not focused on Impul as well, I think that everyone should be looking into it. Um, but nonetheless, when we look at ICC, I love to see these events. I think that everyone should listen into these events because they do discuss what's changing around global trade. Although it's not a $100 trillion asset class, it's still one of those industries that we always focus on because there is still trillions of dollars um, up for grabs if there is you know, the right solution to help bridge the, you know, gap between trade finance, but also really kind of create something that is efficient enough to disrupt it because it is a ripe for disruption industry. Now, time frame wise. So here's from the ICC digital trade roadmap. Um, I actually seen this from Crypto D. We do see today, next five years and the future. So today we do see heavily paper-based processes for billion, four billion documents circulating in the trade system limited access to finance like i said 1.5 trillion dollar gap hmm that's a lot of money outdated laws no standards and we do see next five years digitize the flow of information and trade reduce the cost of trade update and align laws and regulations emily trs that harmonized approach develop digital standards and then future automation increase financial inclusion revised legal framework as well as interoperability between systems. Everything as we know it around a lot of these industries, it's not just trade finance, um, is changing. The evolution is happening. The next five years, by 2028, mm -hmm, things are going to look a lot different. Um, but do I think that's going to take five years for anything to actually happen? Absolutely not. We're going to see a domino effect within the next couple of years. Uh, that will lead us to the big finale, which will be the next five-year time frame. Um, but also, as we take a step back, we could technically see this technology um, taken over, right? We're seeing a, a major step happening globally around this technology, and I think that's a very, very exciting. Um, I think that we are very close to the the, the big shift that puts us that puts everything into place. Um, banks are ready. I think that this is clear through like what Northern Trust wants to do. Um, there's also other major banks that are getting behind DLT technology. Enterprises are extremely happy about uh, DLT technology as well. It's only a matter of time. It truly is only a matter of time. And uh, I'm very excited for XDC because just like Utility Theory said, I do believe that the XDC network is a major piece of the foundational DLT infrastructure that will not only help, but also allow banks and SM SMEs to thrive within the global trade uh, system. So with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys definitely leave a like, subscribe to the notifications on if you guys have more free content. If you guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the video Discord down description below. Uh, so I hope that you all have a beautiful day. Beautiful night. If you guys are on this world, this has been Nick. Peace out, guys.